Yo guys, it's going on? It's Toby here, or Toby Jizzle, and welcome back to another episode of Search for Silverware. And we finally finished off the season, if I just show you now. There is the final league table. Wickham, champions of League 1, so we've defeated League 1. 103 points, that is a massive points margin, 13 points ahead of any other team. To be fair, I think it was quite a competitive season, even though it might not have seen, seemed like that at some stages. But 90 points would win most teams or secure most teams a league title so it wasn't an easy competition that like, they pressured me all the way through um congratulations to rochdale who um earned promotion via the playoffs in sheffield united who also got promoted um because of their position obviously in the league so we're going up um who's going down stevenage oldham exeter and yeovil were all already relegated before the final day so commiserations to them and what else? Let's see. Should we check the other leagues? Let's take a look at the championship. Right, so Forest, Peterborough and Doncaster are all going down from the championship, whereas West Ham, Bristol and Cardiff are all getting promoted. Um, if we have a look at the Premier League real quick, because who knows, we may be in the next season. Oh no. Manchester City won the Premier League. Wow, oh, and Man United finished fourth. I'm a Man United fan in case you didn't know, but uh yeah, it still hurts to see, even though it's on a game. <laughs> it's weird like that. But Swansea, Wigan, QPR got relegated. All those teams survived um, the Premier League in real life, so. Hmm, interesting. I'll just go to inbox real quickly and show you what. Well, basically a summary of the league. Um, I applied for a job as the Great Britain under 23s manager, but obviously because of my. Um, my lack of experience, I guess, and maybe because I was only successful in a low league, I didn't get that job, so that was a bit disappointing, but hey, there's another four years to go. Um, top goal scorer in League One was Ian Hume, so congratulations to him. Player of the year, Kevin Atuhu. Goal of the season, right? My guys finished first and second in goal of the season. I'm going to show you these real quick, because they're absolutely amazing goals. I haven't seen the third one to be honest but um, who knows it might be good let's see, oh wait wait let me pause that, let me pause that uh, change the camera angle real quick main stand oh it's frozen, it's frozen my computer really can't hack this, I'm hopefully gonna get a PC at some point this year, 2012 just so it'll be able to um, run all these things without any problems but yeah let's go through these goals so this was third place decent strike decent and here is the second place goal this was was this I can't remember who it was I just seen his name as well oh, how bad is that I can't remember my own player's name um, um, it wasn't the halls it was the other guy was it Lewis I think it was Lewis. Oh, it was Woods, it was Woods. Oh no, it might have been Lewis. It was Lewis, it was Lewis, it was Lewis. Look at that for a strike. And that finished second. So yeah, I think this this is definitely my favourite goal of the season that I can remember. There might have been better goals in like cop competitions that I didn't pick up on, but um let's see. This is an absolute banger from Halls. From a stupid angle, to be fair. Here we take the short throw. Stravens played it back down the line here. And look at that. Sweet strike. So, those are the um, top three goals of the season in League One. And look what we won. Man well, I won. Wow. Manager of the Year. Um, I think I would have been disappointed not to have gotten it if I didn't get because this was my first season obviously and um, what's it called 66% is a pretty decent win ratio I think Sir Alex Ferguson's win ratio in real life is something about 67% so Fergie level I am <laughs> but yeah um, Donnelly and Bjornsson were in um, League 1 players first 11 so congratulations to them and I think that's about it. Now the only other news I have for you guys is that Wickham have been offering me new contracts but I'm trying to move away from it. There's no real jobs going right now. 
So I might have to take a take another year on a contract with Wickham. But uh, the contract offer is pretty perfect right now and I don't really like the board at all. So I might just leave and go job hunting this summer. I don't know. We'll see who wants me. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this episode of Search for Silverware. If you like it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Let me know how I can improve. And also, what was I going to say? Yeah, if you got any ideas of what I should do, maybe teams I should go for, apply for jobs and stuff, leave them in the comment section below because feedback, as always, is appreciated, guys. But thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Peace.